Have you ever been in love? Fell for someone hard in the shadow of a sunset? Suck a clip with so much gusto, you hit the ceiling and ascend faster into heaven than Grand Master Uguay. You feel those juices penetrate your very being. Excite every nerve. Inflame and awaken every muscle in your body. That's what Yuri on Ice does for you. Take in consideration that this show breaks boundaries. It steps away from the over fetishization of homosexual relationships in anime. It declares that love is infinite, it knows no boundaries, and it gives no f in how unapologetic it is by presenting its characters as supremely human in the backdrop of competitive ice skating. So basically you have cute ass Yuri who's super shy but is supremely talented. He fucks up his first ever Grand Prix tournament. So he's sitting there and feeling horrible about himself in the States and he's like, forget it, I'm never gonna do this or what should I do because I'm just this person who totally fucked everything up. Graduates from college and decides to head back to Japan. This cutie pie is amazing on ice when no one else is really watching. So he decides to do a routine that mimics one of his favorite ice skaters or like the most amazing ice skater in the game right now, and that's Victor. So he mimics this amazing routine and Victor just happens to see it because it gets leaked online. So Victor, who's from Russia, travels all the way to Japan to train Yuri and that's when the anime starts rolling. We get to see these two sexy, amazing, Amazing, super cute main characters get together and become best friends and more in this amazing journey through competitive ice skating. It has so much meat in it and it's only, it's less than 20 episodes long for its first season. It is able to touch on how every single character has this own inner dream and inner goal. And it's influenced by various peoples and again, each other's, in everyone else's lives. The intersection of everything is nuts. The just the character development alone, while like not every character necessarily gets to be, you don't get to dive as deep as you'd want in every character, but you definitely feel for every character, which is rare, especially for it's not necessarily an ensemble anime. It's definitely focused on Victor and Yuri. It's just you feel for these characters. You want these characters to succeed. You see it. You see it in in every episode where each character you don't want the other one to fail. Again, this is competitive ice skating, and all these people are doing their own routines. They all want to make it to gold, but they wanna they wanna battle the best. They don't want to see someone fuck up. They're not hoping someone will fall or trip or break an ankle. They want to see the best. And they want to be the best by beating the best. And I think what makes this anime great for me personally is that honesty and how each competitor views one another. It's with love. It's with, with genuine love and affection. And I know you guys think you're cute by calling it yaoi and ice, and it's not fucking yaoi and ice. As you know, in yaoi and yuri anime, people love to over fetishize homosexual and queer characters. This anime specifically makes a point not to do that. So try not to be so fucking disrespectful. It's a brilliant anime and it breaks through so many fucking boundaries and walls and it's just so good. Don't do it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you want rad animation? Hot music? Badass character development? Then look no further than Yuri and Ice. It's gonna heat up your life.